In this demonstration, I will show you some of the database simulation capabilities of Rational Test Workbench. The test application in this case is Worldwide Travel, which is a demonstration application. It uses a database at the back to supply these information, such as flight number. And if I click into it, it also has some information about passengers from the database. In this demonstration, I'll be creating a simulation by recording the database operations from interactions with this worldwide travel portal. Now, if we switch to Rational Integration Tester, in the Architecture School view, which is an overview of the application under test, this is the database representation. I record the database interactions. I don't need to record any of the related operations. And I'll confirm the recording. In this case, I'll create a virtual database. When the recording stops, I would like to create a database simulation. It's called Rumble DB. I'll switch back to the system under test, interact with it, so that our system can capture some of the database interactions. Now, if I switch back to Rational Test Workbench, it has already recorded two interactions. I stop the recording. There are a few options here to create the database simulation that you need. For example, you can easily create persistent data alternatively by unchecking the persistent box. Every time you restart your simulation, the database data gets refreshed. You can also easily edit your simulation database data by using a spreadsheet. In this case, I'll create a new customer on a new flight. Change the first name, flight number, reservation number, and the last name. Now we have a database simulation that is ready for running. So let's run the simulation. And if we go back to the application under test, let's just go back and go in again. You see that there is a new flight that's been created. And if I click into the new flight, we have a new passenger. You have seen how simple it is to create a database simulation using Rational Test Workbench by just recording interactions. You have also seen how easy it is to change the test data in the simulation database. This concludes the demonstration of Rational Test Workbench database simulation capabilities.